Now, what we see are calls to things that Ida has identified um, using what's called uh, flirt signatures. But Ida has identified this is like something like this is a, a Microsoft library function. Now, Internet Open A, Internet Open URL A, maybe you don't know what those do. Um, sometimes they're self explanatory. Internet Open, like open something on the internet, maybe? Good guess. Uh, probably right. But if we didn't know, what we could do is we could craft a clever Google search and we could say MSDN, which is the Microsoft Developer Network, which has lots of useful information on all of these types of functions that you don't always see unless you're programming uh, Windows just internal API stuff or reverse engineering, I guess. Um, but what you want to do is you'll want to search for MSDN and Internet Open URL. Uh, the A is just a um, signifying like the type and it could be like A or W uh, depending on whether there's like wide characters or not. But if there's like A or something like that at the end, you just want Internet Open URL. It's not Internet Open URL A. So when you search, if you search for Internet Open URL A, you may not get anything back. So MSDN, Internet Open URL, and we can take a look at that. We're not going to get too in depth with that with that returns, but basically you're going to get information about the parameters that it takes, the return value, maybe a brief uh, explanation of the function. Um, we're just going to leave that there for now. So we also see a call to internet read file, and we see some logic, some checks, and it's checking things here. Now, if your eyes are trained you may notice the range of these characters is within the ASCII value range. And maybe if you're like some kind of boy genius, you're going to realize that like, oh, this is this character, and you're just going to know. However, we don't have to do that. We can look at this and we can say, or maybe we don't know anything. We can look at this and we can say, hey, is this some ASCII value maybe? And we can press R on the keyboard after highlighting that. And what Ida will try and do is represent that value instead of as a hex value, as a um, ASCII value, and show us what that string looks like or what that character looks like. And what we see is a left bracket, a exclamation point, a dash, and this one is also a dash. Cool. So maybe it is opening something from the internet, reading the web page, and then comparing some of the things that it finds with these different characters. I think in a later video, we will like for sure figure out exactly everything, but let's not get too detailed here. We got other stuff to look at. So we have this string too, temp cc.exe. Cool. I'm gonna do the same thing. Actually, I'm gonna hit escape here. You can see that this string is referenced in more than one place, okay? However, if we take a look at the address here, we can see that it's referenced all inside the same function, sub 401150. And if we named that function, we would see that name there. So I'm going to click on the top one because it's typically sorted based on where it occurs, uh, like in memory address layout. And that's hopefully going to be like near the top, but who cares. So here we are somewhere inside this function. We can see maybe a general overview in this little graph here, but I'm going to press W and I'm going to see a big overview. Now, what we see here is the start of it, and we come down here, and we have this branch that comes out here, and we have this branch which comes here and splits into four, four other branches, right? So this uh, splitting into four things, uh, what this is going to be is if you're familiar with programming constructs, this is probably a switch statement. So basically we have some kind of check. Uh, this is going to be the default case, or oh, sorry. Yeah, this is going to be like the default case, which happens like if things aren't going well or something like that, it's like an error maybe. And then this is going to come down here and it's going to say, hey, uh, based on what I have here, either go here, 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 or here, or actually here, or here, right? So we have all these different things. And then this is the end where we probably have our return and cleaning up the stack.